Svante Arrhenius was born on February 19, 1859, in a small town called Uppsala, Sweden. His family was educated and deeply interested in science. His father, Gustav Arrhenius, was a teacher. One day, Gustav showed little Svante a fascinating experiment, a battery, two copper wires, and a small bulb. When the wires were dipped into salt water, the bulb suddenly lit up. But when they dipped the same wires into sugar water, the bulb didn't glow at all. This simple experiment sparked a huge question in young Arrhenius's mind. What special thing does salt water have that sugar water doesn't? As Arrhenius grew older, so did his curiosity. At the university, he spent his days and nights studying water and salt. His teachers laughed and said, what's new about that? Salt just dissolves in water. But Arrhenius wasn't satisfied. He wanted to know how salt dissolves and why it allows electricity to pass through water. After months of research, one night an idea suddenly flashed in his mind. He thought, when salt dissolves in water, maybe it doesn't stay whole. Maybe it breaks apart into tiny, invisible particles. He called these magical particles ions. He discovered that some ions carry a positive charge, like Na+, and some carry a negative charge, like Cl-. These charged particles, like tiny boats, carry electricity through the water. He named this idea the Arrhenius Theory of Electrolytic Dissociation. When he published his research, no one believed him. Many scientists called it a wild imagination. But Arrhenius didn't give up. He kept experimenting until he proved his theory was correct. Eventually, the scientific world accepted his ideas. Through his discoveries, many mysteries of chemistry began to unfold. Arrhenius even created a simple explanation for acids and bases. He said, an acid is a substance that produces H plus ions in water, and a base is a substance that produces OH minus ions. His curiosity didn't stop there. He wondered, why does food cook faster when we increase the heat? He found the answer too. Molecules need a certain amount of energy to start reacting, just like we need energy to climb a hill. From this came the famous Arrhenius equation. Gradually, scientists around the world tested his ideas and found them true. They realized Arrhenius had opened a new door in chemistry. For his extraordinary work, Svante Arrhenius was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1903.